You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where our mission is to make you more money so you'll have less stress and more free time. It's all about mindset, attitude, and taking action. And your host, Wayne Weathersby, knows how to make that happen. He's negotiated and closed over $150 million in contracts while building businesses with proven success strategies that he wants to share with you. So if you're ready to make some real money, then let's get to it. Here's Coach Wayne. All right, light at the end of the tunnel, guys. We are heading to the finish line. Today, we are going to set a schedule and stick to it. What I want you to do is I want you to lay out your entire day by creating a realistic schedule of your day-to-day system in order to make the most effective use of your time and be the most productive. I want you to map out the hour-to-hour details that compromise or comprise each of your days. Before you schedule anything, take a look at the way you're currently spending your time. Take one week to observe each hour of your day. The document, the way that you currently spend your time. This exercise will help you create a structure that can provide support and help make the most use of your time within the least amount of stress. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to reduce the scope. What does that mean? You don't need to do everything all in one day. If you put too much on your plate, you'll wind up losing more time and producing less work. Imagine a doctor who books too many patients in one day. If there's any disturbance at all in his schedule, the freaking waiting room will grow more crowded and more hateful as the wait gets longer. So you want to reduce the scope of your day and focus only on what is realistic. If you end up taking on too much, it will be harder to follow a a schedule. A full plate is a catalyst for stress and incomplete work. Be quick, but don't hurry. Avoid overwhelming yourself in order to be efficient. So leave no task untouched. Maintain the order of your day to the best of your ability. If you have a daily routine you want to follow, stick to it. Follow the order of each event, even if you no longer have the planned amount of time. So, for example, if you plan to clean your house for an hour but only have 20 minutes to do it, you can focus on one room and get that one room done. See where I'm going with that? The habit will also help you maintain your daily schedule in the long run, even if it doesn't work on day one, I promise. Things may not be going as planned, but time can be used wisely, even though not everything was accomplished. The feeling of success will stop, I'm sorry, will still come after doing everything that you could, I promise. How will that work? By using batching. When you batch your days, you complete tasks that are similar to each other in sections. So for example, you might have one hour on your schedule to check emails and social media and return phone calls. So you can split your days into sections and create streamlined organization. There seems to be a culture that encourages constant checking of social media, email, voicemail. However, there is new research that suggests checking email just three times per day for some. This sounds like like in the end of the world, stressful. The fear of missing out comes into place with this, which makes checking email irresistible. Facebook, irresistible. Instagram, oh my God, I got to check it, right? This habit is a difficult one to break, I promise. You can start small, check your email five, five times per day, maybe. You can even let people know by setting expectations that all of their emails and phone messages will be responded to within 24 hours. If you set that expectation, then when it takes 24 hours, they're not surprised. If you don't set that expectation, then that's where you get into trouble. So social media, in my opinion, is a huge part of the daily life of many people. I see it, all my clients. It has become a natural way to communicate and connect with others in our world and our community. Social media can also be freaking addicting. A healthy habit of 
to implement is one of conscious social media time. Rather than checking notifications every time there is a free moment, choose a time of day that you'll dedicate to social media. Now, batching categories. How does that work? Here are some examples of categories that may work well for time management when you batch them together. Okay, you want to put all your professional correspondence together. Checking your emails, returning your phone calls, checking your social media, returning instant messages, and then social hour. Social hours where you check your text messages, coordinate social schedules, where you're going for the weekend, what you're doing tonight for dinner, whatever, and all of your other interpersonal stuff. And then current events, check in on the news, get updates on topics of interest, all that good stuff. And then set aside time for self-improvement. Go to the gym, go for a run, go for a swim, work towards your long-term health goals. You can examine the rest of your schedule and look at your most productive time of day in order to choose where you batch which tasks. Use your productivity time to your advantage and create a schedule according to which tasks need the most attention. There are even days of the week when you might want to take an entire category of tasks. And that's okay. You can do that. Also, theme your days. Some activities don't need to be done every day, right? For example, you might not need to go to the grocery store every single day. Activities that can put you on just one day can be categorized into themes for the week. If you have multiple errands to run each week, choose just one day to do them all. These themes are part of your weekly ritual and habits that you might want to maintain over time. Whether you take your dog to the park once a week or choose one day a week to have meetings with coworkers, doing them on the same day of the week creates a habit. And everybody will get used to it. Consider these suggested themes, right? Mastery Mondays, you want to practice a new hobby and improve on a new skill. Tuesdays might be uh, Productivity Tuesdays. You want to complete big projects. You want to schedule meetings for this day. You want to dedicate extra focus on work. And then Wednesdays, maybe, I don't know, uh, workout Wednesdays. Schedule a longer workout session, extra time. Work with a personal trainer. See, thinking of your weeks in sections like this helps you to focus on the day ahead rather than the month or year ahead. Next, this is very important. Make time for fun. Create time to pursue the things you love that are not work-related. A great way to reward yourself after satisfying a hard day of work is to engage in one of your favorite things. Doesn't matter. If it's drinking, eating, sleeping, running, shooting guns, whatever. Productivity is essential, but embracing hobbies is also an essential way to avoid burnout. When you've scheduled your day and you've prior to prioritized your tasks, you'll be better to to make time for things that you love. If you find that you have so much time on your plate that you don't have time for fun, the solution isn't to eliminate the fun, I promise. Instead, start by carving out a little as an hour per week to dedicate to hobbies, whether you, you most enjoy cross-stitching, rock climbing, juggling, shooting guns, swimming. You can make time for both, your high-priority responsibilities and your extracurricular activities. There's room for both. See, it can be difficult to find hobbies as life takes over. I know. I get it. Time flies by as the hustle and bustle determines how your, your day goes. By taking charge and making positive changes in your time management skills, you'll suddenly find that you have more time to dedicate to fostering well-rounded lifestyle. Less stress, more money, more free time. You're happier, healthier. People like being around you. I just want people to have a prosperous life with little stress. So the bottom line, take inventory of your daily life and let go of habits that no longer serve you. Acquiring new time management skills is essential and will foster a greater spark of productivity that will endure through the obstacles that naturally arise in your daily schedule. You don't have to expend energy and worry on the organization of your day when you wake up. Regular practice and implementation of a few simple skills can actually save you time so that you can better focus 
on what's important, the pertinent stuff, right at the current moment. So follow this process to integrate effective time management skills into your daily routine. Remember what they are. Be number one, begin by considering when you're most productive. Number two, choose one task to focus on at a time. Three, examine the importance of each task ahead of you. Four, be attentive to your time. And number five, develop and sustain an efficient system in which you th you'll thrive. And last but not least, create a schedule that works for you. Be careful not to take on more than you can handle. Knowing your limits is good for you, good for your work, and good for the other people around you. If your daily schedule is disturbed, do your best to get back on track. If you planned an hour but only have 20 minutes, spend a focused, productive, you know, productive 20 minutes on that scheduled task. Categorize sections of your days based on the similarity of the different tasks. If you have administrative tasks to do, do them all in the same part of your day. Spend time doing things that matter. Spend less time checking your email, social media, text messages, Instagram, TikTok. Schedule times to check your emails and take care of those responses during a planned part of your day. Set those expectations for the people around you. Pursue hobbies. Making time for intentional fun ensures a consistent and stress-free quality of life. Though life may sometimes seem too busy for hobbies, you can make time for them when you implement effective time management skills in the rest of your life. So a natural consequence of time management is an increase in productivity. Distractions and worries are minimized when your days are predictable and simple. Consistent and regular practice of these time management skills and tools are the gateway for innovation and growth. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Be safe. Take care. Sell a bunch. We'll talk soon. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast with Coach Wayne. Join us next time for more money-making strategies to help you have less stress and more free time. Follow us on Facebook at Productive Not Busy, on Instagram, at frontline.coach.wayne and on Twitter at Wayne New Jr. And remember, be productive, not busy.